Well, new tonight, a family's heartache in North Las Vegas. They say their small dog was mauled to death by a much larger Siberian Husky. Now the family is concerned the dog could be returned to the owner in a matter of days. 13 investigative reporter Joe Bartels is live tonight at the Animal Foundation where the dog is under quarantine. Joe. Todd and Tricia, that Siberian Husky is in a special observation area here at the Animal Foundation tonight. And authorities are going to try and figure out if that dog poses a risk of another attack. He's a small little thing. It was supposed to be just an ordinary Saturday for Simba and his family, but it turned out to be anything but. My dog didn't even stand a chance. This is where I parked. Seconds after Davina Davis returned home with her two kids, the attack went down. I walked around, let my daughter out of her car seat, put her down, and I turned around, and boom, there was a husky. This is the dog that authorities say latched onto little Simba, mauling him in front of Davina and her kids. I've seen my fair share of dogs, and I've never seen a dog act like that. Skid marks from when I pushed them. When the struggle was over, Simba was dead. Yeah, so this is an active investigation. The dog is quarantined currently at the shelter and police and animal control are looking at all the facts and circumstances of this case to make sure that um, it is handled appropriately moving forward. Authorities say the owner claims the Husky must have jumped over the wall or gate and gotten out. The dog was taken to the Animal Foundation for a mandatory 10 day behavioral observation. And when it's over, it may come back to the owner. I'm going to attack my dog who's to say I want to attack a small child with something colorful or something noisy on it. 13 investigators went to the Husky's home looking for answers. Yeah, we're in your neighborhood because of what happened the other day with um, the Siberian Husky that got out. With the what? The Siberian Husky that got out. Yeah. All right, I'm, I'm, let me get you. Okay. No one came out to talk to us. Authorities say they have no documented previous police or animal control reports about the dog. At the end of the 10 day quarantine period, they could deem the dog dangerous or aggressive. Officers may do a yard check and impose fees, fines, or other penalties on the owner. To lose him so suddenly and just in front of my home, it's a constant reminder. Davina says neither dog was on a leash, but still, the attack should not have happened. It's your dog. You should know how your dog responds. Her only legal option now is to sue the owner in civil court for financial damages. Joe Bartels, 13 Action News.